There is a new report that is saying the Miami Dolphins offered $100 million to Sean Payton which might imply Mike McDaniel's future isn't secure. The Sun Sentinel's Dave Hyde wrote an article saying that Stephen Ross offered Sean Payton $100 million to coach the Dolphins. We need to break that down a little bit and try to understand what that might mean for the future of Mike McDaniel if it means anything at all. The deal apparently was for five years but there are some questions that should be addressed regarding the information. Did the Dolphins actually offer Peyton a deal for five-year $100 million? This is hard to say because it could just be speculative. The Dolphins were denied permission to talk with Peyton by the Saints after he retired. If Miami reached out directly to Peyton despite the denial, they would be in violation of league rules. Peyton denied talking with the Dolphins directly and his interest in the job. Peyton said that a request was made and talks were through intermediaries. That is where the contract numbers could have come from. Chris Greer, the Dolphins' general manager told reporters earlier in the offseason that the Dolphins did inquire about Peyton prior to his retirement announcement. Peyton also said that he didn't want to coach this year and that if he had, he would have stayed with the Saints. So what does that mean for the future? If Sean Payton wants to return to the sidelines after the 2022 season, he may find his job in New Orleans no longer available. The Saints hired Dennis Allen and unless this season is a miserable failure, they may not have a spot for Payton next year. That would open the door for trading him to the Dolphins, naturally, we have to look at the current head coaching situation in Miami. Stephen Ross hired Mike McDaniel this past offseason after firing Brian Flores. Would he part ways with him after one year if Peyton became available? An offer of $100 million isn't a number that is simply thrown away. As much as Tua Tagovailoa might have to play well enough to stop the Tom Brady talk, success this season may be what keeps McDaniel in Miami longer than a year. If Ross is targeting or will target Peyton again, the ideal situation might be for Peyton to stay out of football for two seasons so McDaniel will get two years to show what he can do in Miami but if McDaniel's first season goes horribly bad, as in near Cam Cameron bad, Peyton will be another big topic for the offseason in 2023. Along with Tom Brady, one thing we are starting to learn and see is that Stephen Ross wants to win at any cost and if he is willing to offer an unprecedented salary to a head coach then we have to assume that he is willing to continue that pursuit until it is either not an option or his current choice proves he is the guy. Personally, I like what I have seen so far and McDaniel and Ross probably does too but clearly, this season may have more to it than we might know. Or I'm just making it out to be a lot more than it really is.